A Denver woman says this security camera footage shows just a portion of how she was assaulted by a Denver police officer. Her crime, not letting the officer or his partner into the building right away. 7 News reporter Dale Cedars has this story you'll see only on 7 News. And Dale, an internal investigation has been launched. And Teresa, we've learned that that investigation was launched November 30th, the day after this alleged incident. Today, however, after we started doing some digging, a sergeant with internal affairs showed up for the first time since then to interview witnesses. I heard banging on the window, and then they said, cops, let me in. Doreen Salazar says she went to get her mail. And I told them, management told me that if you're not here for me, you... I don't have to let you in. That's when Salazar says one officer started cursing at her. From the surveillance video, you can see it didn't take long for her to let the officers in, but that wasn't the end. Started yelling at me, telling me, am I crazy? When I, I'm told to do something by police, you better do it. There's no audio on this tape, but you can see the officer pointing at Salazar's face and right here, push her away. He was mad. He was so mad. No one from the Denver Police Department would comment, citing the internal affairs investigation. Started getting closer. Started but a criminology closer. professor from Metro State watched the video what and said the officer's for? actions seemed inappropriate. It seems as if he could have just walked on by, just forgotten about it, tell, told the woman, thank you for letting us in, and gone on, gone on his way. But the video shows the officer still bullying the woman, even cornering her in the elevator. And that's when the video stops, and when Salazar says the officer really got physical. And with his free hand on my shoulder right here, he slammed me into the elevator door. That's when she says the officer handcuffed her and detained her in his patrol car for about 10 minutes before letting her go. Does it appear, though, to be excessive for the officer to put her in handcuffs and detain her? It, it certainly it certainly appears to be unnecessary. That kind of behavior that, that ought not to be tolerated. The one that was yelling at me turned around and he says, did you learn your lesson? I said, yes. I learned not to ever open a door for a cop ever again. Denver police will not release any documents or reports pertaining to this investigation. As a result, we do not know the name of the officer involved. Now, the professor we spoke with says his concern is that if this officer responded in this manner to such a minor incident, how will he respond when he is truly confronted? Reporting live from Denver Police Headquarters, Dale Cedar, 7 News. Thank you, Dale. Now, the two officers involved were responding to the apartment complex because of a disturbance on the second floor completely unrelated to Salazar. We first learned about this story from a news tip. So if you have something you'd like us to look into, give us a call, 303-832-7777, or log on to the denverchannel.com and click on.